The Curse of Jamie and Lowell, a terrifying tale of vampiric vengeance. Lowell and Jamie had been together just over a year when they decided to take a trip to an old, abandoned castle in the hills. They had heard stories of strange occurrences in the area and were curious to explore it. They arrived at the castle and were immediately overwhelmed by its looming presence. The castle was made of ancient stone and seemed like it had been there for centuries. As they walked around, they noticed the windows were boarded up and no one had been inside for years. Then, out of the corner of their eye, they saw something move in the shadows. They were certain it was no animal, but something much more sinister. Lowell grabbed Jamie's hand and they ran back to the car, vowing to never return. The next day, Lowell and Jamie decided to take a walk in the woods near the castle. As they walked, something in the trees seemed to be watching them. Suddenly, a pair of red eyes glowed in the darkness and a low growl could be heard. Lowell and Jamie froze in fear. Out of the shadows stepped an old, pale woman. She had long gray hair and a crooked smile. She introduced herself as a vampire, and Lowell and Jamie soon learned that she had been living in the castle since time immemorial. She told them she had been watching them since they arrived, and knew they were not like the other visitors to the castle, she could sense that they, too, were different. Lowell and Jamie then heard an eerie laughter coming from the trees and saw a group of vampires emerge from the darkness. The leader of this group was a tall, bald man with pale skin and razor-sharp teeth. He declared himself the master of all vampires, and he demanded a sacrifice from Lowell and Jamie. Lowell and Jamie were terrified and tried to run, but the group of vampires was too powerful. Before they knew it, Lowell and Jamie were strapped to two wooden crosses in the middle of the clearing. The master of all vampires then announced that he was going to turn Lowell and Jamie into vampires, and the other vampires proceeded to drain their blood. The ritual was gruesome, and Lowell and Jamie screamed in pain and terror. When the ritual was over, Lowell and Jamie were no longer human, they were undead creatures of the night. Lowell and Jamie both knew that they were doomed to a life of eternal darkness and despair. A few weeks later, Lowell and Jamie awoke in the same clearing where they were turned into vampires. The master of all vampires had another surprise for them, he had created a new world where vampires would rule and humans would be nothing more than slaves. Lowell and Jamie knew they had to escape this new world, but they were too weak from their transformation. In a last-ditch effort to save themselves, Lowell and Jamie decided to make a run for it. Their escape was short-lived, however, as the master of all vampires and his followers pursued them. In the end, the vampires cornered Lowell and Jamie in a nearby graveyard. They were about to be killed when, out of nowhere, a miracle happened. The ground shook and a bright light lit up the graveyard. A group of people had come to rescue Lowell and Jamie. It was a group of humans, armed with garlic and crosses, who had been searching for vampires. The humans quickly drove away the vampires and freed Lowell and Jamie from their horrible fate. Lowell and Jamie were safe, but they never forgot their experience by the castle. They knew that the vampires were still out there, and they vowed to never forget the horrors of that night. The events at the castle still haunt Lowell and Jamie today. They live in constant fear of the vampires, never knowing when or where they might strike. It's a terrifying existence, but one they accept as the price of being alive. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and tell us what you think in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.